The commander of Sri Lankan Army interacted with officers of India's Department of Defence Production and officials of Advanced Weapon and Equipment India Limited Troop Comforts Limited and Tato Advanced Systems in New Delhi. French senators are pushing for the sale of Caesar self-propelled howitzers to Armenia, and there is a high chance that India will offer the ATAGS mounted gun system, as Armenia has already ordered the ATAGS towed gun system from India. The DRDO has issued an expression of interest seeking eligible private sector companies for the development testing and evaluation of a 40mm high explosive anti-personnel grenade. Guyana has placed an order for two Hindustan 228 aircraft from Hindustan Aeronautics, and HAL is currently seeking an agency to arrange ferry of two aircraft from Kanpur to Guyana. Armored Vehicles Nigam Limited is showcasing the Arjun Mark 1A tank at the Egypt Defense Exhibition 2023 to target Middle East and African market, as these countries had expressed interest in the Arjun as an economical and better option. Garden Reach Shipbuilders has delivered INS Sun Dayak to the Indian Navy, which is the first of four largest ever survey vessel to be built in the country. A military analyst has said that recent upgrades to the Su-57 have further strengthened its appeal, and the procurement of limited 36 Su-57 would provide the Indian Air Force with immediate access to advanced fifth-generation capabilities in the evolving aerial warfare landscape, as the indigenous AMCA is a long-term endeavor, and will likely take at least 15 years to materialize. Studying the Su-57 design technology and operational characteristics would undoubtedly accelerate India's indigenous fifth-generation fighter jet program, and the compatibility of Su-57 with S-400 air defense system will also create a synergistic air defense network, significantly enhancing India's overall airspace protection capabilities. The Indian Navy chief has said, that the Naval Tejas program has successfully served as a technological demonstrator, providing valuable data and insights for the development of TED-BF fighter jet, like carrier compatibility, fly-by-wire control system, high angle of attack performance, and radar and electronic warfare systems. He also said, that the Navy intends to present a compelling case for TED-BF development to the Defense Ministry soon, as it envisions procuring 45 TED-BF units to meet the requirements of a single aircraft carrier, and another 45 units for its proposed third aircraft carrier. After transferring the technology of ULPGM V1 to Adani Defense, the DRDO has started development of a next-generation UAV-launched precision-guided missile known as ULPGM V3, that will have an improved strike range, and an improved transceiver electronics system, that extends its communication range to 10 kilometers, that will enable more precise and effective targeting. The RDO's Terminal Ballistics Research Laboratory has also developed three different warhead variants for the ULPGM V2 variant that is in advanced stages of development, that includes anti-personnel warhead, roof buster warhead, and anti-tank warhead. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is set to start work for establishing TPE 331-12B engine facility at its engine division for HTT-40 trainer. The establishment of the TPE 331-12B engine facility in India is a significant development, as the same engine will power the upcoming 31MQ-9B drones. The Commanding-in-Chief of Southern Naval Command has said, that INS Vikrant has received both MF Star Radar and Barak-8 long-range surface-to-air missile, and the aircraft carrier will be operationalized by the end of January. He also said, that the Navy has been pitching with the center for a third aircraft carrier, and is currently waiting for the decision. Interestingly, India's defense planners have proposed four carrier battle groups, so that the peninsula flanks as well as the Andaman naval base could be flagged without disrupting fleet activities, given the expansionist plans of the Chinese Navy in the Indian Ocean region. Today's Top 3 Comments
Oh, Mark, drop it. <laughs>